Here's why I want AMD to beat Intel in the CPU, kind of CPU race, I guess, that's going on right now. Now, before you get all into, you know, fanboying facts off of this stuff, I want to just state the fact that I personally feel like both are really good CPU brands, and this is not factoring any of my personal, like, fanboying myths off of. I'm just stating, going to be stating pretty much the facts and why I, you know, think that I think there are very big advantages for AMD and Intel alike and consumers alike to actually have AMD beat Intel in the CPU arm race or whatever you want to call it. So let me explain why. First off, Intel has been on top of desktop processors for a long time. I'm not saying that AMD should beat them for long, but if they put out something that's really really powerful and arguably you could even say that the current processors are beating Intel you could you're pretty much you're on the spot kind of is if these new processors come out and they give Intel a run on the money they're gonna have to start innovating and I'm all for innovation that's kind of what the whole point of this video is it's not really I you know I'm rooting for AMD I'm rooting for innovation I want to see some improvement because if Intel has to start innovating uh, even more than it already has with the latest gen of Coffee Lake CPUs and stuff. I really, really look forward to seeing this new processor lineup um, from Intel, you know, in, if that happened. And then, of course, the AMD counter lineup would be awesome as well. And I feel like then we'd have some really, really fast CPUs out there without a doubt. So for people that are sitting there, and I know there's going to be someone that's going to comment down below, you know, without even looking at the video, oh, you're such a fanboy of AMD because you said that. I just... I personally really want to see some nice innovation and I want to see something that you know I personally feel like we need innovation in the CPU speed because I mean right now we have more cores that will do us any than that will do us any good like the amount of cores that we have is pretty much useless compared to you know for the gaming that we have the big hindrance is a graphics cards and b this CPU clock speed on a couple cores because it's really hard to code multiple you know cores into a game it's really hard to go through and you know do multi-thread applications it's so much easier to do single cores and that's why most games are also single cores so as i said i feel like we could see some innovation that'd be so great for both intel and amd alike and especially the consumer overall because right now you know intel in the past has just been doing the four cores eight threads and you know amd has been doing the six cores and eight um six cores and eight cores and no threads or one thread per, per long story but basically i feel like now that we're starting to pick up some innovation it wouldn't be surprising to see amd come out with something better than intel and put intel on a run for their money so that way we actually have some really nice competition but i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did of course give the video a thumbs up thank you very much for watching and hope to see you around goodbye